Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And today I'm showing you my new phone. It's not really that new. The release date of the original phone was this. And I literally got it like two weeks later because I had to wait for it to ship from China. And you probably already read the title, but it's the it's so shiny that you actually can't read it. So it says Mi Mix Design Bike Xiaomi. And this is the back, the original. I do use a case though, but it doesn't look as shiny as the the back. On the top we have the standard antennas and the hole for basically air. So when the air pressure is different. On the left side we have the SIM card slot. Doesn't support uh, micro SD. That's a kind of a bummer. And yes, I am very very on the right side we have the power button and the volume buttons and yes there is some i don't know what the fuck it is some dirt because i obviously had it in this case and i'm gonna do it right now after i show you the front okay so this is the screen here's the earpiece really small the screen goes actually till there and on the bottom you have a bit of a chin with the camera on the bottom right corner and I don't know if you will see but you can see a bit of like scratches on the phone and it sucked because I, I dropped the phone on the mattress oh on the mattress and it bumped like this face forward across the floor like a meter and then I picked it up and then I saw those scratches so yeah that's a bummer so yes I have dropped it a few times not on purpose of course <laughs> But it survived, just a bit of scratches. Screen itself is very strong. Now to show you that it's fast, I'm gonna try to record my screen and put it on the right side of the screen. All right, so as you can see, this is my home screen. I have the Google Now launcher, so if I just swipe left, get the news and, and stuff for me, uh, I can say, hey Google, and I get the assistant. I use gestures because then I uh, can fully use the screen because it's a big screen. So I just basically hold and swipe up for apps. Just swipe up for home and do that. On this side, oh, that's not what I meant to do. From the edge, as you can hopefully see on the screen as well. So I can go back. Now with apps, I'm just gonna tap Photoshop. You see I have the app lock. There is a fingerprint sensor on the phone. It works really fast. This is the last picture I've been screwing around with, basically. And uh, yeah, no, the camera is fine, as you saw from the picture. It captures in 4K. I've already recorded a few videos uh, with it, like lawnmower races, my new car video, the circuit video with all the racing cars and stuff and drifters, and I think Comic Con as well with my new phone, the second one I recorded. So yeah, it's it's a really good phone. For only like 350 euros I bought it for I think or 400 euros so that's nothing compared to like Samsung or Apple productivity and the quality is not very less it has Android 8 it has an octa-core 2.5 gigahertz approximately 6 gigs of RAM you can also do 8 gigs of RAM and then you would have 128 gigs of storage I only have 64 because I don't use that much I now still have a 42 dot four gigs left so i mean battery life is great on this thing it's still 100 percent even though it's 1 p.m uh yeah i haven't used it that much today but i don't have to charge it before the day ends even when i'm filming all day with the stabilizer that's also in the background right uh, there but yeah there are some downsides you have all the standard me ui apps and you can disable all of them but for a phone for $350 or euros, it's a very good phone. It instant unlocks, and I think I just stopped the recording. I have no clue if I screwed up the recording. Uh, we'll have to see. No, I didn't. All right, that's good. But yeah, anyway, I should have made this video when I, I literally got the phone. I did an unpacking, but it was like recorded with my old phone, so it didn't look good. I still have the box, so I could do it. I think I don't have the time because I have to go and check. Okay, so this was the box. All right, and then you got like a letter. True to explore is to exhaust countless possibilities. For an inch of progress, we're willing to walk miles. Liu Jun, and then his uh, autograph. You would pop that out. And the phone would be laying in there. The 
charger and charger cable would be in those slots under here i don't remember what is in this but you also have like the prior tool for the slot and the, a little book and that's all what was in the packaging pretty nice unboxing experience even though i say so myself but yeah that's all i have to say for now and uh, i hope you enjoyed i know it's a really short review um it doesn't have a headphone jack just so you know but i did make a video showing this little guy and it has a headphone jack and you connect bluetooth to this guy and then you can listen with your earbuds i made a video on that because then the iphone 7 came out without a headphone jack so that was a big problem but i solved it without having an adapter attached to your phone i remember now what was in the slot it was the usb-c because this phone is usb-c connector to headphone jack that's what was in it as well and yeah no the adapter works fine as well with, i use it with my gbl earbuds ray quality even though i say so myself gorilla gloss 4 and that's literally all i know about this phone <laughs> basically so sorry for the short video yes it works with the the watch i also reviewed and uh yeah that's all leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe really important thank you and uh, peace the hell out peace Linus Tech Tips uses the Mi Mix 2S. Drive hard. Drive Mustang.